the world number one has been booted out of Australia. Novak Djokovic has lost his appeal and will be deported. Almost two weeks after first arriving in Australia, Novak Djokovic has been deported. On Sunday, the country's federal court upheld the government decision to cancel the tennis number one's visa on the grounds his decision not to be vaccinated against COVID-19 posed a risk to the country. The orders of the court are, one, the amended application be dismissed with costs, such costs to be agreed or failing agreement assessed, two, reasons to be published at a later date. In response to the ruling, Mr Djokovic said that while he was extremely disappointed with the decision to revoke his visa, he would respect it and cooperate with the authorities in relation to his departure from the country. The vaccine sceptic had originally entered the country claiming a medical exemption on the grounds he had recently recovered from the virus. The unanimous ruling by a three-judge bench quashes the Serbian champion's hopes of chasing a record 21st Grand Slam win at the Australian Open, which begins Monday. The final ruling has also been welcomed by Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, stating the decision will help keep our borders strong and keep Australians safe. Meanwhile, Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic compared Australia's treatment to Djokovic to torture. Uh, torture against Novak Djokovic. Throughout the pandemic, Australia has endured some of the world's longest lockdowns, has achieved a 90% vaccination rate among adults and has recently struggled to contain an outbreak of the Omicron variant. The Serbian player boarded an Emirates flight bound from Melbourne to Dubai on Sunday evening, just hours after the ruling, a Reuters witness said. All of us in Serbia are very much disappointed with court ruling in Australia and with this decision. We believe that it was more political than a decision made by Australian judiciary. And uh, anyway, it was very easy for Australian authorities to say from the very beginning that, uh, okay, only vaccinated, only inoculated people could enter uh, Australian territory, but they didn't say so. They were saying completely different story, including this medical exemptions.